Welcome to the class of strategy and strategy management. This class is intended for the MBA classes. Strategy relates to all aspects of human and social activity, whether it is intended for a personal career, strategy for short, medium, long term, or family from medium level, medium size, or large scale, or medium large scale, shall we say, for business or a company, or very large scale for your country or your nation. Also strategy relates to how your reality of small, medium, large scale develops over a period of SML, I should call it, short, medium, long term. To make it simple, it is two SML. Small, medium, large scale of strategic consideration. Small being family or your personal, or medium, your company, business, large scale, country, or even the world. Another SML is time factor or temporality of strategic reality. Short medium, long-term strategy. Sounds like a very big thing and complex thing to begin with. But really strategy is about one word, reality. Reality of being a person, family, or business, or nation reality in the context of time, temporality, short, medium, long term. Therefore, strategy is how you create the future reality, short, medium, long term. How do you conceptualize your future? It's not about fortune telling or just exercise of imagination. Actually, strategy in terms of time scale, short, medium, long term, has a very, very good concrete teacher. All the strategy reality of present reality is based on history, temporality or minus time, time minus, opposite of the future. The strategy reality has been created as a product of history, short, medium, long-term history. Therefore, any serious student or person who wants to study strategy without any understanding of history can be a very unlikely good study. So we come back to the question of understanding reality. There can be human reality, there can be physical reality. So strategy is about the multiple level of reality. And I use the paradigm of iceberg here. Reality as you see on the top of the iceberg looks quite straightforward. But reality actually is much more complex and multi-layered than it looks. Ice will show you only 10% on top of the water. But below the water, there is 90% of the reality, which we normally cannot see over the quick look. So the first basic step of understanding reality, you have to be quiet, observant, deep thinking person. It requires, in other words, you have to step back from the busy, quick thinking of the modern life. You have to step back and quietly be trying to look through the total 
multilayer, not 10%, but plus 90%, in other words, 100% of the total reality, where if you just look through, you, we human beings are bound to miss 90%. So if you make a strategic plan based on t only 10% understandable reality, that is no good. It is bound to be wrong. That if you are, if your strategic thinking and observation relates to the serious matter, the mistake or misunderstanding of the reality can have a serious consequence. So, the strategy is all about reality, deeper understanding of reality, multi-layer re reality, which has. We are, have it right now as a present, but uh, which is on product of time in history. With that understanding of multilayer reality, in the travel of times, starting from history, we can begin to understand what should happen in terms of future reality. With that understanding, you can plan to watch your strategic direction can be, what can be concrete step to build short, medium, long-term future. So this consequential task of understanding the reality requires our fresh fundamental rediscovery of ourselves, of our environment, of our history, to get a real total picture. In a way, it requires fundamental change to the way of thinking. This is not going to be easy, but good news is they can have a great outcome for those who do the right job. If you get into habit of looking through the multi-layer reality and the travel of times. That strategic thinker or strategist can have a much better understanding of what is happening in the context of the strategic reality now or in the past and in the future. So you, your transition from a thinker of based on 10% of reality, re reality being understood up to full 70, 80, 90% understand reality can have dramatic different consequences and outcome for you as a person, a family, or company, or even nation. When we apply to strategy or business, naturally, we have to understand not only reality as an existence, should be called philosophic, we call it ontology of reality. In other words, strategic under understanding from the study of being, presence. Now we move on to the next critical fundamental element. If you understand the real reality of presence or being, then you need to understand what does it do. So next critical paradigm of reality is function or Philosophical will say epistemology of strategy. What does it do? For the simplicity of the whole exercise, this lecture or myself is using the paradigm of egg soup, e.g. SOP. It sounds a bit like egg soup, so I call it this is a new soup in the market, egg soup. It represents E-G-S-O-P, 
I repeat E G S O P pronounced egg soup or egg soup. E represent environment. Environment, internal environment and external environment. Internal means who you are. What is your health? What is financial strength? What is intellectual power? What is your reputation? External environment. What is society like? What is uh, safety? What is the strength of the maturity of society? So internal environment, external environment. That's E. Then we go to the G. G governance. Capital governance. Also. Enormously important. Something we very often miss out on every level. Governance represent rule. Governance coming from govern. The one who is governing as an institution is government. So governance overall relates to the rule. Internal rule, your conscience, your understanding. For some people it's your religious rule, external environment, rule of law, institution, various level of legal system. So that's governance structure, external one. So how you understand your internal governance, external government, shall we say, in certain countries internal conscience, understanding, religious understanding, can be more or less equal to the external understanding. So that was the introduction of what strategy, our strategy management study, and I covered the fundamental approaches to SML, short, medium, long term, small, medium, large scale, and the strategy element. And also how to understand reality through the paradigm of iceberg multi-layer reality and through the paradigm of X of EGSOP for the function and what does it do as a strategic agent. So thank you very much for your attention and uh, next time we'll have a video too which will cover more concrete details about what to do to make a strategy, analyze strategy reality, and then go through the option of the strategy reality, strategic plan, short, medium, long term, and small, medium, large scale, particularly in relate to small, medium, large scale business. So thank you very much, and see you next time.